Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody, it's the program. Hey. It's not Saturday, but here I am. Yeah, it's Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. So what happens here on the show? We turn on the machines, and then we start talking. We're going to be talking for about an hour here. We go once a day. What you got there? Cola? Iced tea. Pie tea. Has it got cream in it? Milky milk drink. Let's look at the ingredients here. Canned milk. Uh, water, tiny tea extract, sugar, non-dairy creamer. A non-dairy creamer. And then in parenthetical glucose, palm kernel oil, casein, and then out of the parenthetical and color added. When parenthetical again, FDNC yellow number six. And then another parenthetical E one ten. Whoa. And both the parentheticals end. Yeah, so that's what he's drinking. Not actual cream, though. Not yeah. dairy creamer. But it does have casein, which I know is like a milk protein. So it's like probably like extract milk or something. Milk extract, all right. Well, whatever we're going to do on the show today, we can check the messages. We use your phone, check the messages. See who's been calling. You got to call your mom. It's kind of late for that, though, right? Cause it's yeah, that's why I've been putting it off, because I'll be working till 10 o'clock every night this week, but I don't go in till later, so I keep forgetting early in the day. My mom actually called me at work today. Yeah? But I didn't call her back. Oh, yeah. man. We talked to your mom a couple times here a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Or a couple months ago. We didn't get a lot of messages today. I was looking at the thing. See who's uh, who is who? Leave the messages yeah. Hey, it's your daily hour with me. You can leave a message. You play it on the TV show here, so have um, something good to say and have a warm to Yeah, that is kind of a confusing message. Well, it's like 99 like new messages. To access the main menu at any time, press start. First new message from unknown caller. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's Jeff. 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 What? What are you saying? I can't, I can't tell you. Hey, hey, is it? Is it a gibberish message or is it a technical error? Or is it a, maybe a pocket dial? What? Pocket dial with TV. Oh, I heard 911. To return this call, press 2. To mark this message as read, message archived. Next message from unknown caller. Hey, program, it's Freddie. I'm driving up to Seattle right now. I'm back at exit uh, 127. And I just got out of this really big traffic slowdown. It was really uh, intense all the way from the uh, train base Lewis McCord up to 127. And then this uh, police officer drove by all of us and we all had to pull over to the very far shoulder. And then um, as I was, as we were getting back onto the traffic, I saw this big billboard that said Amber Alert in process or something. Uh, something about an Amber Alert. So oh, man. I guess uh, I just figured that something I saw out here on the streets on I-5, so I hope everything is okay, and just be on the alert, and maybe get the word out, okay? On the Amber we'll Alert. More, I guess. Amber Thanks, program. Is the Amber Alert, is that a color? Like, red uh, alert? Uh, Amber Amber calling unknown caller. Yeah. When finished, but press yeah, star to return to your messages. They're like, red alert. Red alert. Or the Amber Alert. So that's like Star Trek. Red alert. It's like, red, I think, is the worst. Amber Alert is, is children, missing children. Oh. Am Wait, Amber or Ambler? Amber. 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 
But it's a color too, I think, right? Yeah, Amber, it's, it's yellow. It's hey, color. program. Hey, Freddy. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm driving back to Seattle. Yeah, are you, wanna, are, are you, drink this are you driving car. a car? Yeah, I am driving a car. Whoa. Hey, uh, what's the? Did you find anything out about the Amber Alert? Actually, I did. I uh, I I heard it on the radio. Uh, that what had happened is these two girls were missing because, and their dad was down stabbed to death. Oh no. They the sus they're suspecting uh, the mother of the children in the uh, in the thing, but then they they found the kids. They ended up finding the kids. They were with another family member and safe. So the kids are safe. Everything's fine. But they're apparently, I mean, I guess they're not too fine. Because they're, they are in a, I don't know, their mom's on the loose. They're still looking for her. And the dad is stabbed to death. Oh, no. Stab. Don't stab people, everybody. That's bad. Yeah. Well, that's anyway, that was pretty wild. Where, where was that? In, in like, Tacoma or... You know, I couldn't really tell. I, I was a Seattle radio station that I heard the final report on. But it was, like, all over Washington. It was a statewide alert. And so uh, all the time, like, all the, you know, uh, yeah. this is your local radio station. And, and so that's, that's what... That stuff is bad, but does, doesn't that stuff happen more? I mean, it seems like it would happen often, like enough that they would just put it on the radio or whatever. Do you think that people get stabbed to put a bit? Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, it was pretty successful. I because I, I I was I became aware of it and noticed it, but, but I wasn't really trying too hard to find out much about it. You know, yeah. like even if you're Amber yeah, Alerted, right. what are you gonna do about it? Like, if there's like Amber Alert, and then like people were driving down the street, and they're like, uh oh, better look yeah. out for. Criminals. Yeah, that's how I felt at first. I was just like, well, do I look like a suspicious looking van or uh, somebody yeah. who looks shady? Uh, what do you do? What are you, what are you trying to do? Yeah, what are you supposed to know. do? What's the point of the Amber Alerts? They're just like, look out. Problem. Maybe, maybe if they had more information about it, like maybe if they could give me a, a license plate number. Yeah. Because they put these big signs up. So I'm guessing that in the event that they had more information to go on, they might be able to get people, like, looking for them, you know? That's pretty scary, now, though. Start the police work. They can stop fugitives. So what if, what if, uh, yeah, somebody could turn it against us and uh, become fugitives. Don't become a fugitive. They'll announce it on the highway boards that they're looking for you. Yeah, watch out. Super fast. If that's... I, I like that better though. I like I kind of like the whole crowdsourcing, getting the community and, and people in the state involved, as opposed to like just pretending that you know or the police force will be able to handle all of the crime. You know. Yeah. I think that the amount of vigilantism, it's not not necessarily vigilantism, but like working together to to keep the peace. I think uh, people can do that well. Like oh, wait, their community oh, members. This is reminding me of something I heard about recently. So did you guys know there's, like, a group of people who, like, are, like, pretend to be... Well, I guess, like, like they sort of are, but like, it's, like, a superhero group in Seattle. Oh, yeah. I think that's bad. Yeah. If you, well, actually, I, I heard about it because there's some guy who, like, on May Day, I guess, like, May 1st, so a couple of days ago, released this video that he was being a super villain. Yeah. And he was, like, again, he was, like, I just want to get rid of all these stupid people who are trying to be superheroes but then he was like dressed up as like this like dandy like 19th century guy and he was like you know he's like what's his, what's his name Liz? what what's the villain's name uh yeah? the the villain's name is rex velvet i believe the the main superhero phoenix guy jones. is phoenix jones yeah he says he's he's, he's like phoenix jones's nemesis yeah you shouldn't be doing that is stuff. He, is he against, is he against people being superheroes, right? That's why he's becoming a supervillain. Is that true? Yeah. He just released this video. You can probably look it up, but you know, he like sounds like a supervillain. Ah. Like he's got like a funny, but he's got like a funny voice and like ominous music. But he's like, I've had it with these people in our fast city. Like, oh no! He, but he says his goal is to get rid of the superheroes. Now oh, it's time for the dice game. Oh, is that the first 10 minutes? First 10 minutes in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot the... Cool, I'll be, I forgot the background I'll be, tape. 
What? I left uh, the. I forgot it. We'll have to bring it tomorrow. I forgot it. Oh, you got a new one for <laughs> me. We got a new one, but oh, I forgot. Man. I left it. We got. I gotta get it in the oh, car. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to. It's hard to bring sometimes. I, you know, I just left the house and I got here and I was like, oh, the background. Nope. Yeah. Left oh. it on the chair. Yeah. Do, do That's the all good. Game. It happens. We're gonna. We're gonna get back here tomorrow though. We're, we gotta find that pen. Uh oh, the pen. Yeah, the pen. Yeah. Uh. -huh. Um, yeah, I got a four on my hand written already from yesterday. Well, I already have a number also. Lewis has got to find a pen. I got to pick one. You got to find I, a pen. I don't know where it is. It's uh, possibly in the uh, in here. Or, uh... Uh-oh. Well... Don't see it in the couch. Yeah, we can't find a pen. Uh, what are you going to do? We're gonna keep looking, I guess. Uh, oh, oh, there's a pen cap. Pen cap. Oh, here's a pen. I found it. Well, okay. Hey, how's that? Pro you, how's that production end coming, Freddie? Um, it's coming good. I have. I'm when I get home, I'm gonna capture the episodes uh, from a couple days ago, and I guess go. Uh, gotta get loaded up to TTTV. I think they're airing tonight, but that's the last thing I've really got scheduled. So I've got to put the commercial up tonight. If you uh, checked on TV later tonight and the commercial's on, that means that I got home and uh, I'm working on the program because I actually can do that from home now. And if you hear that, I, I can schedule the commercial from home. Oh, wow. We're, so yeah, you, you yeah. sent the whole video. That's good. We're doing the commercials now. You guys seen those commercials. Well, that sounds good. I guess we'll keep uh, checking the other. Oh, did we do the dice game? No, we we haven't rolled the oh, dice. Oh, we gotta yet. roll the dice. Freddie, what's your number? Four. I, I picked a four. Freddie picked a four. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, it fell off. Oh, does that still count? Yeah. Here. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah. Get that camera. Yeah, to get. We can move the camera down there. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Can uh, you see it? Not really. Is it in the dark? It's in the dark. Here. Or here, put, put your light. Use a light. Oh, there it is. It's a six. It's a six. Guess what? I won. Oh, Lewis won the game. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Oh, yeah, there it is. Freddy, can you hear that? Oh, where you, where's that? Where's their phone? Did you hang up on him? Oh. Oh, shit, I did. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. It didn't Lewis hang is, up Lewis even when I closed it. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Well done. You deserve it. Yeah. Well, okay. Thanks, Freddie. I guess we'll talk to you later. Alright, All right, yeah. Um, have, a good, have a good program. I'm, I'm excited to see the new background tape tomorrow. It'll be on tomorrow. Drive safe. Like yeah, okay. Bye bye. Alright, alright. There it goes. Oh to gosh. return this call, press 2. To mark this message as read, press 7. You have 98 new messages. Oh, 98 to new messages. To your messages, press 1. To place a call, press 2. Or to change your settings, press 4. First new message from unknown caller. Unknown caller. Hey, program, it's Freddy. I'm driving up to Seattle right now. Message archived. Next message from unknown caller. Hi, Jimmy. This is Dan Dobler. Dan Dobler. It's too late. Sorry, Dan. It's too Bye. late. We keep doing the program. Please to return the program this back. call, press message archived. Next message from unknown. Whoa. What? Uh oh. Wait. Oh, it glitched out. Something the the Google Voice system glitched out. Oh shit. That was weird. Well, here, let's call them back again. You see uh, anything on the streets there? You go to the art the art walk. You see any art? Yeah, I saw a little bit of art. I went to the New Northern on Friday night. Oh yeah, where's that? Uh, it's right by Planned Parenthood. It's like over there, a huh? little bit down from there, so it's on Legion. In the building? Uh, it's 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 in the same parking lot, but it's its own building. Whoa! Yeah, it's its own building. Yeah, I mean it's just like a little like flat building. I, I don't know if it's attached or not. All right. Um, did you know, I haven't been doing too much. Just going to work mostly. Actually, my no, my. My bosses all really like me at work, so I've been getting a bunch of credit cards. 
Are they giving you credit cards? No, I've been getting people to sign up for credit cards. Oh, and they're happy about that? Yeah. Do you get bonus? Uh, now I oh, think... Oh, they do, probably. Yeah, I mean, I think there actually is now, like, a, like I get, like, a dollar for every application that I do. Yeah. Look up, viewers, <laughs> they're trying to... They don't get those credit cards. Well, yeah, I or mean... Or actually do get them, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it all depends. If you're going to buy a bunch of shit from Home Depot, it's probably a good idea. Oh, yeah. But I don't know. Just Man. wait till you're at Home Depot. I don't really want to discuss it one way or the other. Yeah, okay, no. this thing's not working right now on the thing. Oh, Google Voice is down? Yeah, maybe. If it's down, that's a... That's Fuck bad. Fuck Google. Yeah. It's a... Yep. It's doing the busy sound. You heard this sound? Yes. So I, I haven't heard that sound in a while. I hear that at work all the time when someone doesn't have their w work f internal work phone on. That's the sound that it makes. All right. Well, I guess we'll just give that some time and see if it's gonna come back. Hopefully it does. Otherwise, we might not be able to check the rest of the messages. We'll just have to do something else. Mm -hmm. Try to get through programming other ways. So the villain, Freddy said there is, or did you say that? Yeah, I said that. Rex Velvet, he's the villain. I don't think that the superhero guy is a good idea. Yeah. You're reinforcing violence. No need to be doing that, everybody. Did you yeah, see the well Mayday? Did you see those Mayday protests? Yeah, I did kind of see it. Apparently he was, like, involved in that, like, at the... He, he was involved. At the he like, was he was at the protests, like, Ooh. against the protesters. Because oh they were, no, like, breaking what? shit. He was against the protesters. Well, yeah, I mean, I read I read the Wikipedia article about him. I mean, apparently he does, like, MMA shit and, like, so he, like, knows how to fight. But he also, like, apparently was arrested, like, a year ago for pepper, allegedly pepper spraying people. Don't pepper spray people, yeah. that's You can't choose who's going to choose who is the bad guy. Yeah. I, know, his, I think his identity was secret for a while, but now it's not, so they... He's like, who it is. He's still doing it, too. Yeah. But when he's not wearing his mask, he has a really cool haircut. He has a flat top. Flat top haircut. Is yeah. it going now? What? Oh. I'm still trying to get the messages to work. Let's see. Tomorrow we have Sadie on the program. Wait, did you say Wednesday? It's Thursday, right? It's Thursday. The third. Sadie, when you come back for Saturday. Yeah. And then Dan Dobler on Sunday. And then back with Dan. We're going to be going to the TCTV studios next Thursday <laughs> for episode 600. Whoa. Yeah. I was looking at the thing. Episode 500 was one of the first days we went mobile. Huh. Like, I think 500 might have been the last day. I think it was a coincidence where the five, episode 500 was the last day of the studio days. So that means we're almost... 100 days out of the studio. Whoa. Wait, I think I remember. Was was I there on episode 500? Because I feel like I remember. And then I think we were it was like in thinking your about in the front yard. Oh yeah, in the front yard. Okay. Yeah. And oh wait, so first Saturday, I get up and work at like six. Yeah. So are you gonna be at work already? Mm, yes. Okay. So I guess we'll just do it late. We have conflicting schedules. Yeah. Oh, it's still doing the thing. Man, I hope the... Why is it doing that? That's bad. So something's going wrong with the messages. I know we have more messages. We should be able to check them, but maybe it's not working. Mm. That's uh, that's bad. So I don't know what else we're going to do. Maybe we'll make some phone calls, too. Probably almost at the first commercial break here. we got to check a couple of the messages. We're glitched out there, but then... Yeah. Yeah. Didn't go all the way. So we're about to get into this next commercial break, and... I don't want to start calling other people until that thing gets over. And then if it does, you know, can't, like, start new subjects with this so close to the commercial break. Oh, yeah. Um, so I have two beds now. That's an exciting thing that happened to me recently. Yep. That's my roommate, Spencer Carroll. He moved across the country. Can we hear more about this after the break? All right. Blah, 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 blah. Are you ready for the town? 
Yeah, I forgot the new background tape. We got a new background tape, and we worked on it yesterday while we were on the show, but today, I forgot at the house there. Oh, shit. So we didn't bring it I'm back to the show it tomorrow. It'll be the first day of it. You got the, are, they, are your beds the same height? No, they're different heights. I just basically put Spencer's old bed, because he was going to take it with him, and then he was shipping all his stuff, and it was like, he's put it, he was putting it on a truck, and it's going to put him into the next size class, so it's basically going to be like, hundred and fifty dollars to ship just the bed so he decided to not take it so yeah. now I have like a full and uh, like I don't single I guess but it's basically it takes up like most of the floor space in my room and then, well yeah not in the desk I've gotten there but I also have a new roommate uh, David Hokia he's probably been, he's I been on here before yeah yeah he was gonna come over but then he said he had to go to sleep because he had to wake up early yeah, he's been on here in the past. Yeah. Yeah, I remember oh I remember him and John Farinelli were complaining about that. John Whalen a long time ago. Yeah, David oh David Hook, he didn't like him, yeah. Yeah, but I remember that because it made it made me mad because it turned out they weren't even paying attention and they just saw that he like had used this word in a specific context. Yeah. And then they were like ban him. But then I guess well, it could, but then John Whalen he just like went away, right? He hasn't been on the program. In a yeah, long time. he went to California or something. Uh, okay. I think he ended up. Did he end up staying in California? Uh, oh, it's not working. That's bad. Know. Maybe we have too many messages. Ninety-eight messages. Yeah. Get rid of some of those old ones. Oh yeah, my phone is uh crazier. Yeah, and then I went I went to the the clothing bank and I got some sheets for my new bed and some clothes. I got these shoes there. I got some penny loafers. Yep. They got a penny in them. So I got two cents richer from getting these shoes. The pennies were already in there? Yeah. They didn't even take them out? Nope. And you should put a quarter in there. Yeah. Can you fit? I don't know if a quarter will fit in there. Yeah, actually, I even I have a, si a fifty cent coin. That might be too big, though. Are they, s are they just exactly the right size for pennies? Though maybe. Maybe well, but this this uh, left one actually the penny always slips to the side. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. And, uh, what else did I do? I bought some more socks and underwear. Yeah, oh. It's very mundane. Yeah, that's a good thing to keep your hygiene, personal hygiene there. I'm going <laughs> to go go uh, ask the neighbors about getting their Wi-Fi password. Then we can check all the messages and any problems with the things. But maybe I can just go. Have you ever thought about that? I don't know if you're like at your your places there and you're in uh, your... I mean, we pay for internet. Yeah. So but what if your neighbor is you want to beat your password? You can just knock on your neighbor's door and you know offer them money with yeah. a password. Yeah, I know. I've heard of people getting like the super, super high speed internet and they split it between them. Like houses. Yeah. Oh, so you get, get the extra, extra yeah. bandwidth. Or one. like you get the ones with like the actually good signal, so then it will actually go to three different houses. But I mean, who are you, who are you gonna ask? Yeah, I gotta find out. You just gotta, I gotta put up the flyer. Yeah, I mean, I think the direct next door neighbors. I don't know who they are. I mean, I'm like half a block away. Oh, you just set up a. Signal sending signals with the routers. Then we can get the thing going. Cause otherwise, yeah. Wait, is there a list of potential internets? Yeah. Wait, you should let me look at it and see if my house shows up on there. Is it FBI? Mm -mm. That's the only one that shows up. It doesn't go this far. So we're trying to get the messages to work right now. 
Oh, is it still beeping? What? Oh, talk, 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 talk a tone. So we're trying. Oh, still aren't going. Oh, I didn't. I don't know what else is happening. I don't know about the news and stuff. I saw those riots on TV. That was all I saw. But I don't know if there's any Mayday stuff here. Was sometimes they do Mayday stuff in Olympia, but I don't know if they did anything this year. Yeah, I mean, I, know, I heard talk that there was supposed to be like a general strike. I don't know how many people actually did that. A work strike? Yeah, work or school strike. Yeah, that's what they always do. Yeah. Don't go to school. Who doesn't want to get not go to school? Yeah, it's always funny. I mean, I've, I feel like I've heard this quote. That it's like, students are the only consumers that want less for their money. Like, they want to pay for school and then not go. Not go to school, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, well, you know, on days like this, when I think we have some messages, but the, just the things that doesn't work, uh, then, then we should uh, maybe plan more things, you know? We don't even have some kind of, like, backup, like, thing, topic thing. We don't even watch the news or anything. We can just call somebody, maybe. That's kind of a backup. Call somebody else, ask him about the news. But, you know, we already saw the news. There was, I guess, Freddie said that there was a stabbing. But I think there might be a lot of stabbings. I just don't, you don't hear about them that much. You don't watch the news. Oh yeah, I mean, I think stabbing combined with potentially a missing child, that's what gets people's attention. Yeah. Family, domestic stabbing. So I don't know if they're going to be on the loose. You think they're going to stab more people. Look out for this stabbing. So was stabbing mother. <laughs> stabbing mother. Yeah. She's the mother of the children that got missing, but they were somewhere else. She stabbed somebody, so look out for that. If you see anybody trying to stab you, you got to look out for that. Don't get stabbed. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to get these messages to go still. Uh, we're going to we're gonna do this. We're getting the new background tapes coming up here pretty soon, but we're also trying to get out of this, uh, try to get a place with the internet. Got to find more studio space. Yeah. And the only thing we have planned, I guess, I guess we'll call, let's call this McDonald's. See if any of these McDonald's are going to answer the phone. Today. These are, we only have a few McDonald's phone numbers, too. We're kind of stranded. Did you look up more, though? Yeah, we looked up a couple here. These are in, I think, Idaho. Okay. I don't remember, though. Should I wait, is, is Angie home? I kind of need to go to use the bathroom. Oh, yeah, you can go in there. Okay. Let's call it. All right, here we go. We'll call the next one. So we're calling all these uh, McDonald's because of the things aren't working right now. Oh yeah, Desmond was supposed to be on the program too. We should call him. Hello? Oh! Oh, man. That was a freaking noise. Here, let's call Desmond. He was supposed to be here today, but he didn't show up. Here it goes. We're calling Desmond. Desmond. Sorry, I couldn't get to the phone. Give me a message and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. See ya. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hey, Desmond, it's the program. You're scheduled to be here today. You didn't show up again. Uh... We'll keep trying to call you back. You can come back on 
Tuesday the 8th. Okay, bye bye. That was Desmond. Desmond, I don't know if I've ever met him in person. There was another dice game. Let's roll the next dice game. Okay. Lewis is ahead by one. Yeah, let's do the red dice this time. Do you want to roll it or should I roll it again? Uh, okay, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll it. Let's see where. Let's roll. Oh, uh oh. Here, I'm gonna re-roll it. Oh. It's a two. Oh wait, they were both two. That's weird. Whoa. They were both twos. Even if I looked, it wanted to be a two anyway. Yeah. I have a one. I have a and six. And Lewis has a six, so. Uh, I lost. Lewis is still winning by one point. Yeah, wait. Freddy had four, right? Freddy had four. So we're, uh, that's the the score of the game. I should get this paper. I was thinking about getting a, a chart. And then, uh, you know, chart, we can write down the numbers every day and then get a chart going and see if any of the numbers are high probability rate there. Yeah. But we never did it. Seems like six happens more than the other ones for me. I'm just imagining that. So I'm just gonna keep trying to get the messages to work. Right. Uh, you see, you didn't see anything on the streets. Well, what about Lacey? What about that robbery? Anybody ever find about, about that robbery? Oh, the one. That no, it's still doing the thing. Uh, I haven't heard anything else about it. Actually, I heard that there was a robbery in a house over on the east side here. Oh, I heard it was, it was in the, the neighbors, yeah. Hmm? The neighbors got robbed or something. Yeah, it's, it's a black house apparently got robbed. Maybe we can call... They're right around here. I'm going to call Adrian and ask her about this robbery. I heard that because she told me about it. And she said it was right by the studio. Hmm. Yeah, I remember when my, my roommate Spencer was said, like, watch out for, like, sketchy stuff. Yeah, so let's, let's find out about this robbery. Yeah. Oh wait, why? Did it, oh, so I noticed you have a spatula in the studio here now. Uh, it's is just it kind of showed up here. So. Okay. We're gonna do. We weren't doing any cooking. I should bring that spatula though. With it. it's a nice, it's a sturdy metal spatula. Yeah, this is good. You can't use a plastic one, yeah. Yeah. Well, if you have Teflon, you're supposed to use the plastic. No, oh, but then it melts. Yeah. Well, but the thing is, if you have metal on Teflon, then it scrapes all the Teflon. Get some food. Um. Will you? Uh, I don't know. People have reached the voicemail box of three zero oh. nine three. Well, I didn't find anything either. Hey, Adrian, it's the program. Uh, you can give us a call back. Okay, bye. Well, let's see. What are we gonna do? I want. We. I know we. Got, well, there's a bunch of people that left messages here on the program, so maybe I can. We can try to. I can try to get the internet. If I walk around the block, we can grab the uh, messages, and then uh, come back and check them. I think that'll. that'll oh wait, go. we'll like load onto the iPhone, and then. I think so. Maybe we can check them. So maybe we'll do that next commercial break. Until we got to keep using our wits. I got to think of some topics. Topics. Yeah. Right. Uh. Yeah. Again, just think of topics. <laughs> you know, it's hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it's. Uh, I'm I'm surprised you know we made it this far you know, on the show, without any plans at all. We're about 500 you know 80, almost 590 episodes in. And this is where the show I think it's we're starting to go, uh, with with the, with the new things you know because I always said that before you know after a while we we'll start had to get into the new times so, we're only about 580 episodes in and we haven't uh, planned anything yet really on the show. Yeah, I mean. I think it's you know. So I think the whole the whole format of this show is not really conducive to like having a topic and sticking to it. It's just like stream of consciousness, just like whatever. Like, oh, I heard about this. Yeah. It's supposed to be a, yeah, but I think we got a lot of messages. I think that's what we're gonna do. But then today they're not working. Yeah. But I think people called them. I want to make sure that we uh they they answer because well there were some people that are trying to find you. Did you hear about this? No, what? There's uh, people, they watched you, and they wanted to talk to you. What? They are, it was on a, on the, on a Friday. They, they called in. They're like, who is that guy on the show there? And uh, they were talking about you, so. Okay, what, what did they say? Just they, said, they, they said you were cute. Uh, you have followers, so we're going to try to call them back. I think. Oh, what? 
Lewis gets fans. There was other, another fan of you for that. Um, remember that Angie's friend <laughs> was your fan also. Oh yeah. So there. <laughs> yeah, people are people are always becoming fans of me. Apparently, they just like some somebody at work told me actually a while ago. There was like some like mom came in. And she's like, oh yeah, my daughter really likes Lewis. Yeah. But what I don't know how old this person is. Maybe they maybe they found you on TV too, but they called in and they they uh, they want to talk to you. So I know okay. they left some more messages. They've been trying to come. They're actually going to be on the program. At least I scheduled them. Yeah, for the twentieth. It's going to be on a Sunday. You going to go on there? Uh, Might be the day after your Saturday day though. Yeah. Well. Maybe. What time of day is that? It'll probably be in the afternoon. Okay. Well, usually on Sundays I'm at the co-op until like four. Oh, we could probably schedule it around that, though. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Sunday is actually the day that I usually don't work. So that works for me. Yeah. They left some messages. Maybe I should go try to yeah, hunt down the, the internet around the house. I, th I bet I can find it uh, and check some more so messages. Wait, so it's, it's Alex and Ashley? The names are Alex and Ashley, yeah. Okay, so is it a male and a female or two no, females? No, two females. Oh, okay. They want to they wanna meet you, so... I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go around the block, and try to find the, find the messages and see if I can get one. Okay. You gotta talk to the viewers about something. I'm gonna go hunt, hunt them down. Okay. Well, I'll Maybe just I'll stay open the, here. Open the garage. Open the garage and go try to get find the uh, find the signal. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I guess you know somehow how there's like girls' names that like are either gender, like Leslie, or like Beverly. I don't really know if that happens with Ashley, but I guess I just assumed that Ashley was a female, and I was right. So I don't know who you are, Ashley. What your deal is? What you want to talk to me about? Um. Hey, okay, did you all know that? Uh, May 19th is Armed Forces Day. Because I sure did it until just now. And oh, <laughs> May 22nd is National Maritime Day. So, if you like sailors, May 22nd. Or if you like sailing, either way. Whatever floats your boat. Is this a long one? I'm getting the internet right back here. But it's going slow. All the cords are like really tangled. Oh man, they're all they're a crazy ball of cords <laughs> out there. Oh man. What about the other one? I think the other one's a long one. This what? The other one, the black one there. It's, it's a long one. It's all in the crack of the couch on the on the side of the couch right there. Oh, is that the long one? It's kind of the long one. Yeah, I I think you you gotta you gotta. Oh, I gotta untangle it all. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Well, did you? Has anyone ever brought up? Uh, I don't know where in the world it was, but yeah, the Alexander's not Alexander the Great. Like went to this place sometime in you know history, <coughs> and there was like this famous knot. And yeah. It was like so tangled that like no one could ever figure it out, and they're like, "If you could untie this knot, you're a genius," and you just cut it in half. Oh wow! It's like, yeah, I'm so fucking smart. Brute force. And they probably conquered whoever it was because he was Alexander the Great. Conquering. All right, we got, I got it going. Okay. This has got to load. Mr. Ginsey left us a bunch of messages, but here, let's listen to these. Oh, oh. This is the message for uh, for you here, though. If we get it going. Oh. Oh, Here, can you commercial go to break. You Which front? This one? No. This one? Nope. This one? That one. Tony C. Immersed in the internet, our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. We act like it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder.
Yeah, we're back here. I'm trying to get this thing going. I'm going to plug in the phone back here so we can listen to these messages. Oh, yeah. Also, also update. My toe is still really gnarly and, like, bleeding all over the fucking place. Oh, and what now I mean? all my new socks. I'm going to know which one is right and which one is left because most of them have, like, a <laughs> faint blood stain. Uh, do, you, do you keep your socks separated from left to right and stuff? Uh, hey, it's Alex. Um, I just talked to Ashley, and she said that the 20th is fine, but we want to do it with you and your friend. Lewis. So Saturday would be fine, too, or Sunday, as long as you're both there. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll talk to you later. You can actually... Uh, wait, never mind. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you later. Okay, I want to meet you. Are they... <laughs> <laughs> Is that gonna be on uh you wanna on um, meet them on Sunday or should they come in on a Saturday? Uh either way. I mean if they're coming on the th- they if they're already scheduled on the twentieth, that's fine. I think we should schedule them out between two days, yeah. Having to be that'll be the event when Lewis meets his fans. Yeah. Okay. So Wait, they left so a couple more messages too, but let's listen to a Mr. Ginsey message. Okay. I should have done this before. What then? Which? Then this the internet thing because it picks up the internet from just like a just a couple feet back. Oh, I'm just right back here. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck over? <laughs> I just fucking bored. Saw this motherfucker on TV fucking taking this guy's Corvette for a fucking joyride. They showed it on the news. Whoa. And saw the kid put it in the parking garage, and the guy took it for a joyride. He was valet, right? <laughs> they pull a Ferris Bueller. <laughs> He's going Ferris Bueller out of that fucker. Ferris oh, Bueller. Fucking funny. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I thought it was hilarious. The guy was fucking out there racing the Corvette around. Having a good old fucking time. <laughs> it's fucking funny. Except for, uh, he didn't do a good enough job of it. I guess in the long run, somebody found out, so that's the way it happens, huh? Yeah, well, Mr. Ginsburg. Fucking hilarious, motherfucking shit, motherfucker. Uh, that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we're going back. Let's hmm. do another. Well, you can Alex. actually select the message that you want now. Yeah. That's convenient. Yeah, not like on the phone. Just gotta leave this thing open. It's a little cold outside, but maybe it'll be worth it for the check the messages. Yeah. Hey, it's Alex again. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that tonight me and Ashley go to church together. So if you call us like around ten, we'll just be getting out of church and we'll be together. So you can talk to us together, both of us. Okay. So yeah, around ten tonight. Okay. 10 p.m. Okay, bye. I think we already missed it, though. Wait, um... So they're going to church? They wait, they're going to church on Saturday? <laughs> no, Are you Jewish? On Thursday. On Thursday, what? I think they're... I think oh, yeah, it's not Saturday. What <laughs> I think they said something about Jesus earlier, too. Oh. So I think these might be, like, Jesus people. Okay. So they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna come here. They like you, but they're also Jesus people. Okay, well, just... I don't know how much you have watched something in the program. Uh, I'm... Uh, agnostic Jew, <laughs> or ethnically Jewish, don't really care about religion one way or the other. For you, for you, for you, for you, for you, for you. What is this? Is this church? Wait, are you calling them right now? No, this is this is a message. Wait, is this from them or is this from somebody else? This before, this is the first time you've heard this. I haven't heard this. Uh, you 
They're going to yelling church. Yep. Yep. I remember when I was 15 years old. I don't even know what this message is. It goes on for another minute. And I stood in the kingdom. King Kingdom. Well, it's the what, what was that message? That was, I think that was the Mr. Ginsu message. Maybe. I don't know it was. Wait, let's see. Mr. Ginsu message. No, that was Alex and Ashley. I think that might have been church. Okay. Because that was at, yeah, it was at 10.30 a.m. Yeah, that was church. Yeah, that was church. Yeah, that church. Okay. Because that was at, yeah, it was at 10.30 a.m. On a Sunday? Yeah, that seems like it could have been church. I think it, it's very possibly a church message. Okay. Well, that's that's kind of a that's a group that hasn't that's not really represented on the program. Yeah. It's, so uh, believers. Should we call them again? I don't know if it's too late. I think it's I don't know if they uh, watch the show. Well, I mean, they, they have to be watching the show, so they're probably up. You should just try and then see what happens. It's almost midnight. Yeah. Well, that's that's half halfway through. All right. On TV, the program. All right. Well, listen to this Mr. Ginsu message. And then we'll call them back. I think we're actually running out of time, though, maybe. But we didn't have the messages for so long. Should open this garage. Uh, uh, we always still have a good 15 minutes or 10 minutes here. Yeah. Wait, we're d- uh, yeah, we already got the second commercial break. It's going to be the final background, or finally this background tape. Hmm. So we can say goodbye to the background tape. Oh, come on, signal. we got to pull the thing back here to get it to go, but it's going to go. This is Mr. Ginsu. What the fuck, motherfucker? What the fuck do you think you're doing? I see you with fucking... What the fuck? Huh? Huh? Nah? Huh? Nah? Oh, is that what? it? Oh. Hey, what? I think it's... I thought it was long. I, I think can't it, fucking oh. understand what you're fucking saying. There's something wrong with it. This thing. The phone. That thing. The phone thing. You want to turn your volume up, maybe? Turn the volume up on the phone? Hey, Potter. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Um. Can you ask Dan if I can use his scale? I need to waste some marijuana. Oh. And, uh. You said that every day. I don't mind medical marijuana, mate. On Dan's scale. Uh, we do. Did you bring Dan's scale over here? Yeah, we got we got Dan's scale back. Much. Yeah, I it was at my house for a long and time. And well, you, did you uh, have, weigh yourself? Did you? I yes, I did. Are you? Uh, several times. Are you losing weight? I guess so. Actually, you were. So my so scale. I don't know if I trust that scale because like I weighed myself twice at two different points during the day. And there was like a seven pound discrepancy uh, from the morning to the afternoon. And I don't did, know. I, I, I don't think I had anything in my pockets. Hey, did you I didn't. I didn't go to the bathroom right? that I can recall. So I don't know why. But did you? Was it? You were seven pounds less? Yeah. In the morning, I was like 146, and then I was 139. Whoa. Later in the day. But then I, when I was 139, I weighed yet. myself twice in a row and out. gave me the same thing twice in a row. But also this scale is weird. It's like the one where you no. have to like tap it and then it like zeros no, and then know. you get I on it. About that. You guys gonna have to get a bigger stick. Bigger or stick, Mr. Ginsu, what? Reach back there and grab him and suck it out of your crack. Alright, well hey, let's You're call um the fifty five. I'm sure you probably might never get him out. Call Al Ox and Ashley back. Somebody tight ass you, know, you are. About midnight. I mean, did they say how old they are? I'm not sure, yeah. So they could be 
I mean, they uh, sound like they're at least young adults, but they really are ambiguous age. We don't so. know yet. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe their parents are going to be mad that we're waking them up. Yeah. We don't know. Kids these days, they stay up late anyways. Yeah, they have the TV. They're watching TV there. Uh, they're, yeah, they're staying up to watch the show. I think they're staying up at least that late. What if they're internet viewers? You never know. Kids love the internet. They've never lived without it. Or something. Uh, okay, we're good. I'm gonna have to go. They're gonna be excited to talk to you. They've been trying to call and talk to you for a while. Oh, like how long? Like uh, two weeks, maybe. What? Week. Oh, what? One week. Must have been one week. Okay, yeah. Cause I don't. Well, I guess the last Saturday when I was on, it was the procession, so it wasn't really a good time to talk about that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, they're gonna have, they're gonna have your phone number now. <laughs> okay. Well. They, they won't call you directly. Yeah. They, they won't know it's me. Maybe. Hey, it's the program. Why are you calling from the Minnesota number? We're calling from different numbers. We're from, we're off the internet anyway, so it's different numbers. Yeah. Hello. Th- I, I've Hello. been told you're trying to reach me. Maybe. This is Lewis. Are you taping your show right now? Yes, we are. Hang on. Lewis is on the show. Hey, I thought he was only on Saturdays. Uh, I I can come any day. You I just a, also come on Saturdays. You came on a random day, also. Oh, cool! So you guys are off the air right now? No, we're on the air. We yeah, we're typing for the TV right now. We're on TV. Oh, okay. So, anyways, why do you guys call from different numbers? We um, are from the internet. Yeah, there's not very good internet signal uh, from the studio. So when someone is in the studio and they have a cell phone, we use that. Oh, okay. So this isn't a number that you guys put on the air, on, on the air right? No, this, no, is, this, this is, is, is a different one, but don't call that one. Call the, uh, the air phone number. That's the only one that you can reach us at. Yeah, the Ohio one. The Ohio one, yeah, but we're in, uh, we're in Olympia. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, Lewis is here. You were, tr- you were trying to find him before, right? You're gonna you're gonna meet him. You're gonna be on the on the 20th there. Yeah. Did, yeah. You, did you guys get my messages today? Yeah, we listened to them. Do you you go to church? What kind of church do you go to? Uh, it's a Christian church. It's in Puyallup. Oh, what kind? Of Methodist? Yeah, what, no. What denomination? Four Square. What is it? It's Four Square. What's that? It's just it's no, it's normal. It's normal, but is it ba- Baptist? No, it's Foursquare. Foursquare is a denomination. Oh, Foursquare is its own thing? I never heard of that before. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's just a new thing. Actually, no, it's not, but it's just hmm. hard to explain. Oh, okay. but, you guys, but you guys should come with me and Ashley one week. To go to church. So you, you, want us to, are you, you want us to go to church? Do you want to do the program at church? Yeah. Okay. We bring the, the, the into Puyallup at the church. Yeah, well, we'll pick you up. Okay, wait. How how old have, are you? Yeah. <laughs> are you an adult or a teenager? I'm 20 years old. Okay. Do you guys have a bus that you can pick up new recruits in to take to the church? No, I have a car that oh. I can pick you up in. But it's not. It's not. Ma- it's what's what's Foursquare is not Methodist. Is like the game Foursquare. You ever played the game? No, <laughs> it's not. It's just like it. The first square is just like we believe in the Bible. We believe everything the Bible says. Like That's literal. It is. The literal is it literal? Yeah. Okay. Wait, mean, so, so new and old testaments. What? New and old testament. Yeah. What about all the stuff about like, like you have to kill someone if they do such and such? Oh no, that was that was. <laughs> I've never even heard of that. And number two, that's the Old Testament, and that's under the Old Covenant. That okay. was before Jesus came, so God was different back then. All okay. right. Yeah, I know there's, some, there's something about like you can't eat, wear clothes with two different kinds of fabric. No shaving. I've heard it is in the Bible. 
But, yeah, that but that's was all. back in the that was back in the Stone Ages when they had he had to have those rules. I don't know why those rules were there. You can ask my pastor; he, he'll explain it to you. But yeah, it's super cool. And there's like 400 people that come to service, and it's all ages 18 to 30. Oh, wow. So oh, it's, it's, it's like it's like focused on younger people. Youth church. Yeah, it's eighteen to thirty, and there's four hundred people, and there's really pretty girls. So you guys can pick up a girl. Okay, pick up some church girls. So you, yeah. you, don't, you don't believe in premarital sex, though, right? What? <laughs> no, nice. They're, they're nice, nice church girls. Yeah. So you Joe, yeah. pick up a girl to marry. You mm-hmm. mean? Yeah, some girls that aren't wholesome, so maybe you could, but the good ones don't do that. Okay. So you guys are going to be here on the 20th? and you, you uh, Are you in Tacoma right now, or you're the one that lives in Thurston County? No, I live in Lakewood. In Lakewood. That's Thurston County. But you guys are going to be here on Sunday, the 20th? Yeah, um, it- and that's Ashley's birthday. Oh, it is? Wow, that's uh-huh. happy birthday, Ashley. Is it going to be... On the Sabbath? Is that a is that a bad is that bad? No, it's fine. No, we're not crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You guys are so stupid. Did you did you guys like the message? Oh yeah, it was was that a message from church? The one. Oh yeah, did you was that a church sermon? Wow. Yeah, it was just like a little part of it. it was, uh, my pastor's name is Chad. That was from when he was speaking in Australia. Whoa. Well, we got uh, we to oh, go. Wow. It's the end of the show, but we'll see you on the 20th. Okay. Okay, Bye. thank you. There she goes. We didn't call any McDonald's. They didn't answer, but I'll keep trying uh, to call yeah. them, I guess, only in the last minute here. Huh. Well, they're uh, Jesus people. That's kind of freaky. I'm, I'm kind of yeah. freaked out a little bit that they're going to try to get us to go to church, but I'm willing to be uh trying to religiously, religiously persuaded yeah i kind of went to uh, ask them and explain that i'm not religious and i'm not likely to i mean that's pretty good i've never actually like they're trying to be friends or like we'll be your yeah. friend you know i mean that seems like a, they're trying to be nice yeah they're just trying to help you out you know they think you have a problem but it's also kind of well they, they, they didn't say anything about trying to convert us oh, yeah. said we should go we should go to the church so I mean we're just those people can be normal to you um, uh, we'll find out about that that's some religious people up. it's gonna be on May 20th uh, so check that out Bye-bye.